it is Memorial Day weekend. You're probably getting together with your friends and your family and you need to bring a side dish with you. Yes, that's always important here. So Janet McCormick is I'm stealing some of your pepperoni. I know, I was going <laughs> to eat some too, but I was like, pepperoni. can we eat all night? It's so hard not to eat as you're going, right? Yeah, I was like, there's so many things I want to shove in my I mouth. I know, but oh. Janet's here from 10 Minute Meals to help uh, with the, and you've got something you're going to share with us, and it's a charcuterie pasta dish. Yes. I love this idea. So if you can just think charcuterie board, mm -hmm. think charcuterie pasta. Why and not? And how can that not be amazing? Because you're going to like com combine all the things that you love about a charcuterie board and With put pasta. it in a pasta. You bring this to any outdoor event or any kind of backyard cooking, you're going to be the favorite. That's the way it is. <laughs> Thanks, Shannon. Yeah. Thanks for making us the yes. favorite of the party. <laughs> so, exactly. <laughs> well, let's get to it. So what do we put in it? Basically, I have some pasta already made. Okay, okay. We've already got this made. You can use any pasta for this. You can use you know, even spaghetti would work with oh, okay. this. So whatever you have. Sometimes you got to clear out your pantry. This right. is the perfect dish for that. So we basically are going to just take some of these nice little, this is a salami, this okay. is some pepperoni. You can okay. use any of those cured meats. Those would work perfect. So if you'd like to take that and just kind of, it doesn't have to be bite size. I actually am cool with rough chopping. That's my new Go to is okay. rough. You know what rough chopping means? It's like it's lazy. It's like you just cut that oh, stuff. I and like that. <laughs> just go Ouch. for it. But you don't make tear it off. easy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So I just do a rough chop for this, and then I spread it all in there, and just kind of throw it in like that. And then you can be adding some olives. You, some I have some pepperoncinis, and can I can you have, go too heavy with it? Not no? absolutely not. No. Can you go too heavy? And you don't want the juices in there, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, just, just kind of leave the. the okay. Because I'm going to give you a nice little dressing to put on this as okay. well, and so. Try that, just stick that in there, and even with the stems, it's okay. People can just go ahead and pick okay. that out and eat That's that. That's right. That yeah. gives a little heat. I like that. So this is a Monterey Jack cheese. I just decided that Monterey Jack cheese, no matter if you get the cheap, the, the, it tastes good no matter what you get. So okay. you can get this, but this one actually happens to be a habanero Monterey Jack cheese. Ooh, because a little more heat. I did this in honor of my son. He loves it hot. So we're going to do this too, and I'm just going to cube this up right here. So the good thing about charcuterie boards is they come with cheese. Of course. Oh yeah, that's so, the best part, yeah. I think. So I have several different kinds of cheese, and the, th the good thing about this is you can make this your own, personalize it. Just make it your own. If you like um, Monterey Jack cheese and you don't like the habaneros that I'm mm -hmm. sticking on here, then don't do that. Don't actually, okay. you know, use the, something that's mild if you like that. I mean, just about any cheese that you would put on a charcuterie board, you can put in here. So that's your okay. rule. If I, which I don't even like to live by rules in, <laughs> in, the in the food industry, no. So I've, I've done the cubed habanero Monterey Jack cheese. Now I'm going to use the Parmesan, cheese. shaved Parmesan More cheese. More cheese. Oh, yum. There's nothing better than Parmesan cheese. Oh, 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 looky here. More got cheese. Some <laughs> we got, oh my gosh, it's raining cheese. Yes. <laughs> and listen, this is something you said you, I don't know, one of you all were. I have never seen yeah. this type this of cheese. This is a burrata cheese. And all this is is the most creamy, luscious, wonderful. Ooh, look, look, how look how I'm pierced. Whoops. You didn't see that. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I, I pierced it. <laughs> I pierced it a little. It slipped out from there. But look how wonderful that is. So if you stick that in and every time you dig in for this pasta and you dish it out, grab a little bit of this okay. wonderful, creamy. Look at this. You cut this and you pierce it. Oh, look at, look that. at that. Yeah. So you're going to make that amazing by doing that. Now, the good news about this this pasta dish. Yeah, what do we use for the dressing? Is that you can use any bottled vinaigrette. Okay. If you'd like to kind of make your vinaigrette that you buy in the store, if, if you don't feel like making it, mm -hmm. if you just kind of want to zhuzh it up a little bit, make it your own, put a little bit of it, like a tablespoon of sriracha sauce in it, and oh. then shake it a little, because now you've given it some garlic, you've right. given it some heat, it's going to be unbelievable. So this I actually made, and I did it with, you see how it's kind of turned in mm -hmm. a little bit red. So we're just going to pour this in. Oh, this is dreamy stuff here. Lighting. Here we go. Yeah, it this, looks really this is good. what dreams are made of. <laughs> and actually, there's enough pasta here to you can like share with your your colleagues back at the back. That's wonderful. Do we want, do we want to share? Well, so, we I don't know. Want to. <laughs> do we want to tell them? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So let me. You want to dish some of this out? You can use sure. this right I here. Sure. Try it. Yeah. Try that. And so just this go on. This looks and like something that you have spent hours on. And you saw how we quick did this it was just right here. And if you get like you know some pasta, it's just a few minutes of, of Put cook you a time. Mm -hmm. here, Susan. Oh, and I need a fork. Okay, I'll hand you one of those too. Although it looks good enough to eat with my hands. Oh, there we go. Tongs <laughs> down. Okay. Hand it over to her. And I love this too because okay. I was telling yeah. you, Jana. I said, you know, I I have a 
pasta salad dish that I've been using that recipe for years and I'm, I'm like, me, you know, it'd be nice to change it up a little mm -hmm. bit. And this is perfect. Oh, this Let me is tell you delicious. something else that's great about this. You know how sometimes you have outdoor events and things with mayonnaise in them actually mm -hmm. get the yes, run the risk of one. kind right. of like growing bacteria. Uh -huh. Well, this is not going to happen. That's not going to happen. You've got a nice um, vinegar-based kind of vinaigrette mm. that's going to keep this nice and healthy for you, so it can withstand the heat a little easier than mayonnaise. This is delicious. Now, there I is love a little this. kick to it. I can, it can, can you, you taste know. it? Mm -hmm. But I it's may, good. I may have went a little heavy handed on the pepper cheese. Yeah. <laughs> so <Sorry>. spicy. <laughs> that might be my fault. I did put but a few delicious. of them in there. That is yummy, Janet. Wow. A pack full of flavor. Wow, it, it is. is really good. I, it is. <laughs> I, I don't think we're going to be telling our coworkers about this. No, we're going to eat it all. Mm. It's your call. <laughs> Where can we? keep up with recipes like this and find out what you're doing. So on social media, 10 Minute Meals on Instagram, or um, I have also have it on a 10 Minute Meals page on Facebook as well. And um, I'm trying to do some TikTok things, but oh. Lord, it, it, unless you're dancing in front of that thing, <laughs> you, ain't you don't want to be dancing in the kitchen while you're cooking no. and dancing and eating our food today. It's that good. It makes you happy. A little happy dance. Yeah. Man, Janet, you, you know how to do it. You know how to mm -hmm. do it right. This will be a hit at any party. Right. You don't have to just do this one. Keep this one in, keep this one in mind for anything you've got to do. If you're having to get together, this is a great dish that everyone will love. Mm -hmm. And I like that you said you can adapt it to what you like. Right. Right. Put your you favorite things, different things in, in there. leave mm -hmm. some things out, whatever. Don't Customize mind us. It. We'll just be eating charcuterie yeah. pasta from here on out. Janet, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Thank, thank you. you all.